So we're now up to turn five, and you can see that uh, things are pretty desperate for Carthage. So Carthage is now down to the 70s for its fighting value as well after losing those two units. So they've got a seven commands to play with. So we'll start off with uh, some attacks from the rear here. So two plus a command bonus of two to attack here. So attacking from the rear against heavy infantry plus lead unit is going to be hitting on a seven, a uh, six, sorry, plus a combat bonus. And a nine is good enough for a hit. And it's also good enough for an all out attack hit. But um, no, I don't think it's worth spending yet another unit at this stage. Um, yeah, it's a tough call, but. Mm, no, we won't. Okay, and we'll attack again at a minus one. An eight is not good enough. Okay, that's four commands, about seven used. That's it in the centre. Uh, Mago will attack, putting himself in the lead, which gives him a plus two, so he's attacking these chaps, so he's going to be hitting. A seven is enough to shatter those guys, so that will be a, a morale roll of one, so I'll just adjust the board and look at what effect that will have. Just a moment. Okay, just to clarify, I neglected to mention that because that last unit there was uh, spent light infantry, uh, if they're being attacked, the zone is being attacked in the rear, that unit automatically becomes the lead unit because uh, they're skulking at the back, which is why they were attacked rather than the heavy infantry. Okay, second attack out of there. So uh, even though the roll was one for morale, they're all heavy infantry, and even though they're surrounded, they're in pretty good state, so no, no routes there. Okay, so second attack out of this zone hitting on a 9, and that's not good enough. So we've used uh, four commands so far. Uh, attacking out of here, that takes us up to 6, which allows us to roll the dice, and it's a measly 2. So we've got three commands to play with, which is uh, not very good. Okay, so attacking here, a 7 is not going to be good enough. A three is not going to be enough, and the last attack is not good enough either. Okay, so attacking from Hannibal's zone, three attacks, two, the first two with a bonus. Seven is not enough, a ten is enough, and a seven is not enough. So one hit on that zone there. But they've still got plenty of units left, so no problems. Um, okay, so we've got three points to play with. Um, Probably the best thing we can do is attack. Mm, no, I think uh, spending two commands to bring in this unit. So it's going to be one, two, three. So double movement to join this slot here. And No, we will do an attack before we bring them in. We'll attack with uh, these guys. Will no, they'll stay in place? Okay, they'll attack there. And an eight is not going to be good enough. Okay, so uh, it's the Carthaginian turn done. Back to Rome. So Rome's fighting value is now 60, so uh, that gives us 7 commands plus whatever we get on the roll. So remembering counting Sempronius' uh, exemption there. So we'll start on this side. 5 is not going to be enough. Second attack is a 9, which if we all out attack is enough, and I think we will. Every attack that the Romans score with is going to help them. Okay, so we've got one more attack coming out of that zone, which is a miss. Okay. Uh, so that's two commands used. Uh, we'll attack here and give a bonus to the Lee unit using his exemption. So that's our third point. 
So that's a 9, which is not enough for a hit because they're minus 1 from it, unless they all out attack. And, uh, well, I think they may as well try all out attacking actually. So, all out attack can handle a rally. At 12, he does again. Well, Hannibal is worth his weight in gold. Second attack will give them another bonus. A 9, so that's going to be another hit. This time a clean hit. Hannibal will attempt to rally again. And a 7 this time, he does not succeed. So, there is a route. So, let's roll the dice for that. And that turns out to be a 1 again. Which uh, could be messy for the light of infantry there. Indeed it is. So, in Hannibal's zone, you can see that the light of infantry will follow the route because they're at minus one for being spent, which takes them down to zero, and they're in the same zone as a unit which is routed. So, again, bad news for Carthage. All right, let's just adjust that. Ah, we've still got one more attack out of that zone, actually, so we'll just do that. And that's a miss. Okay. So that's... Two, three, four, five commands used, which means we've got one left, so we get to roll the dice to see. Oh, I've got three. Okay, so that's unfortunate. So you get one, you get no combat bonus out of this sign. So, miss. Seven is a miss. Last attack is a three, so that's a miss. So they survive, which is fortunate for them. So, at the end of turn five, we can see that uh, things have definitely swung Rome's way in terms of casualties inflicted.